Dave Parody of Effective Virtual Presentations here. I want to show you an update that Teams did recently to the presenter modes, which gives you more control and more options when you're sharing it with your audience. So I'm in a Teams meeting, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen the normal way that I do that. I'm going to use one of the presenter modes, let's say side by side here, and I'll select my full screen. And now what happens is I get the preview window. So I'm going to move this up here. And you'll notice the preview window that we've always had, but now it has more options. The first on the left here is the position. So this is the position of your video in relation to the shared content. The normal has always been on the right-hand side, but now we can switch it with this button to the left-hand side. And look how that looked to the audience. So you'll notice that it shifted it over. And you also have a size slider here. The size slider, what it does is it allows you to make your video larger or smaller. Now the side-by-side -side is kind of interesting. When you slide it, you'll notice that it actually gets bigger for a little bit. So you saw that how it just jumped there on the audience screen. And that's the thing, it doesn't uh, show the audience the movement of the size. It just shows it when you release the mouse button. Then when you make it smaller, that's what you saw for the audience. It made you smaller. So you can always reset it and it goes back to what you expect it to be. This works for all of the different modes of presenter mode. So if I switch over to, let's say, our reporter mode here, you'll notice it remembers which side my video was on from side by side. So it does have this memory of it. I can switch it back if I want to. And we have the sizing here. So even if you don't switch the side, you have the sizing. I can make myself smaller. And you'll notice something here. The positioning is such that I start to cover up my content a little bit, which isn't ideal. So just be careful when you're adjusting the size here on the reporter mode. You don't want to make yourself too small and end up having the shared content, in this case slides, so large that you cover it up. And those are available in all of the presenter modes in Teams. So if you're using Teams, Think about using these new presenter mode options that are available. Now, if they're not in your tenant yet, don't worry, they are rolling out. They should be out to everybody by late spring, early summer. So leverage those to make your virtual presentations on Teams even more effective. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, use the link below to get notified of my new articles and videos on virtual presenting. And like this video on YouTube so others can discover it as well.